Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on the WD Blue SSD. And I'm going to go through the installation, and this is within Windows 10, and um, also give you some speed tests as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with some specs here and a close up look at the box. WD Blue SSD, 500 gigabytes, it's SATA 3. And we have uh, speeds of read and writes of 545 megabytes and 525 megabytes. So we'll see how that works out in our speed tests later on in this video. Using Crystal Dismark version 6.0. All right, this is the laptop that I'm going to be placing this SSD into. It's an Acer laptop. That has a Intel 7th generation i5 installed with 8 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4 by the way. And also I'm running Windows 10, the latest version as of uh, this video. And that was, uh, I believe, 1803. All right, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, backside of this laptop here where you can see that this Acer laptop has easy access to the hard drive that was installed on it when I bought the um, laptop. And it happens to be a terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive and a Western Digital at that. So um, let's go ahead and take a close up look at the SSD that I'm gonna be putting in to this um, laptop. And I've removed it out of the box and Let's have a close-up look. There we go. Um, 500 gigabyte SATA PC SSD. And I've removed it out of the package in this picture. And let me go ahead and give you a close-up look of the backside of the SSD. It says WD Blue PC SSD 500 gigabytes. And some other numbers, model numbers, serial numbers, and so forth. Okay, enough talk about the physical appearance of the SSD. As you can see, I've gone ahead and removed the mechanical drive that was originally installed on or in this laptop here. Um, it happens to have been a WD Blue one terabyte hard drive, and again, a mechanical drive. And so I'm also replacing it with a, another WD drive, but in this case, the SSD of 500 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and move forward and do some testing and see how this performs. In this Acer laptop that's running the latest version of Windows 10 1803 with an Intel i5 processor, um, I believe this the i7200U, with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the meat of the video here. And that is the um, speed tests that I promised you. And here they are. The first one up is on the mechanical drive, which is the WD Blue one terabyte hard drive uh, that was installed on this uh, laptop when I bought it. And if we go over to Device Manager, we can see the model number. Okay, let's go over and take a closer look at the Crystal Dismark reports for this mechanical drive. These two top numbers here, 119.2 and 109.6, are the read and write, um, sequential read and writes. And those are the numbers that really have a significant impact on your performance, I, in my opinion. Um, on, you know, the drive um, accessing data uh, and getting it for you when you need to have it open and um, being um, able to use it quickly. So with that in mind, you can certainly look at the other numbers here. They're just as important, but um, um, in a good comparison test, I think those t top two numbers are um, the ones that are biggies. So let's go ahead and move on over to the um, SSD drive that I've installed. And these numbers are very impressive on the SSD. The read and write, the sequential read and writes. Um, top numbers here um, on the left side here, 545.7, 511.5. 
um, are very impressive and very large in comparison to the numbers that we just saw on the mechanical drive. Now the rest of these numbers are just as impressive and they do play a significant role in um, increasing the performance and and giving you a nice experience on your laptop when you're using it. Um, now keep in mind that the SSD drive here um, that I've installed on this laptop, I went ahead and did a fresh reinstall of Windows 10 and that's why the uh, desktop looks a little different. I didn't install all of the applications yet. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, produce some numbers here. And these numbers are, like I said, they're super impressive. And uh, they have so far given me a nice experience on this laptop. And in the real world, what it equates to is my boot times have significantly decreased um, on my um, mechanical drive that was in this laptop. Um, it took anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds and sometimes even as long as a minute to um, boot up and get into the Windows 10 desktop. With the SSD here, it's taken me um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 6 to 7 uh, seconds to boot up and have the Windows 10 desktop presented to me on my laptop screen. Now, also, let me mention really quick that the applications such as Microsoft Office and the video editor that I'm using here, as well as other programs and apps, um, open up almost virtually in a blink of an eye, and their responsiveness is very quick. So I'm super happy with this SSD. Um, keep in mind that this SSD may not be the fastest one out there, but it's certainly not the slowest one. I highly recommend that if you're still using a mechanical drive, go out and buy a SSD and put it in your laptop or your desktop computer, and you will be super happy. Okay, um, I mentioned that um, we were going to see some numbers side by side here, so let's go ahead and move on to that. And as you can see, um, the mechanical drive on the left-hand side here and the right side I have the SSD. These numbers are really absolutely like night and day. Um, the mechanical drive numbers are slow. Um, not, not so much as slow. Well, the mechanical drive itself is slow, but the numbers are very low and um, are small, and the um, SSD numbers are large. And uh, you can see the sequential read and write numbers, 119.2, 109.6 on mechanical drive, and 545.7 and 511.5, um, the read and write sequential numbers on the SSD. And they are just unbelievably different and um, larger. Okay, that's the end of this video. Let me end by saying thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and leave a like if you like.